This is Gemara and Kittin Adaf Mem Ches. We're holding on Mem Zayin Amid Beis, approximately eight lines from the bottom. We're in the middle of a lengthy discussion in between Rav Yechran and Reish Lakish. To scroll up a little bit, to the discussion centers around if someone is Meicher Sadeu Lepeirois. Rav Yechran says the ownership of the Peirois is enough to allow you to read the parish of Bikurim, and you could say, May Reish is Priyadama. And the Gemara suggested, perhaps, if Yechon is of the opinion, Kinnina Peiris, Kinnina Guf. Reish Lakish says, no, you cannot, you could bring, you have to bring Bikur, Bikurim. However, says Reish Lakish, you do not read the parish of Bikurim, because Kinnina Peiris is love, Kinnina Guf, Tami. So says the Gemara, and we concluded, Amr Lei, Taim Didi, Nami Vach Kamino. So Eisve asks Reish Lakish to Rav Yechon, who held Kinnina Peiris, is Kinnina Guf. If someone is traveling to Yushalayim and the Bikurim of his wife is in his hands, and he hears that his wife was Nifteris, maybe he's allowed to bring the Bikurim and read the Parsha of Bikurim. The Gemara deduce, deduces the obvious implication. Mesa in lai, Mesa lai. Sounds like only when his wife dies. That's when we say that Kinyan Abeirais, excuse me, that's when the old Baal inherits. Therefore, he can read Bikurim. It sounds like if the wife did not die, then no. Says the Gemara, no, what didn't have God's law, Mesa? So why did the Brysa teach a case of Mesa? Mesa is Rechalei. Six lines from the end of Amim Zayin Mabes. So good, I think I'm going to leave the Rav Yisrael Chanina. Because I would have thought, Davko, specifically in the case of Mesa, there's a Gezira that you cannot be Kaira, you cannot read the parish of Bikurim. Why? Because of the opinion of Yisrael Chanina, who holds the of Yisrael Chanina. Batsran Vishagram Biachliach of someone picked the produce and sent them in the hands of a Shliach who mays Shliach Abaderech. And what happens? The Shliach dies. And then the owner comes, picks up the fruit inside, so bring it on his own. What is the Allah Mevi Veinai Kaire? What's the reason Shenemar Villakarta and you should pick Vevisa and you will bring? From here we learn now two lines in the bottom, Ashti Lakicha Vava Bechad. That the Lakicha, the purchasing, the Avon, the bringing, has to be by the same person. So one would think that the same thing is in our case that what? Since the husband who did not do the Lakicha. Therefore, one would have thought that maybe, since the Lakicha and the Hava was not in the same mind frame, we'll call it, that the wife died in the middle and the Baal created the ownership, Kamash Blah, and that's the Chiddush of this case. Says the Gemara in the last line, Vazal Taimayu, and Rachel and Rav Yechanan, go according to their reasoning, Detmar. If someone sells his field, as we turn over to Memchaz Amir Aleph, if someone sells his field at a time in which Yol is Noyeg, and therefore the sale of the field is not absolute, because in Azman of Yoyvel, the halacha is that a sale is only valid until Yoyvel. At Yoyvel, the sale is going to revert. So, Bismacha Yoyvel Noyig, excuse me, Rav Yechon Amar says, Rav Yechonon, Mevi Vekairi. In such a scenario, what is the Allah? The Allah still is, says Rav Yechonon, you're allowed to read the parsha of Bikurish. Like the Shamar, no, Mevi Veinai Kairi. So, suggest the Gemara, what is this Machlaikas of Yechonon Amar, Mevi Vekairi? Why? Kidney not payroids, kidney not tell me that even though the buyer only has the kidney not payroids, doesn't hold the actual land because the land's going to go back with. Yoyvel, still, it's enough of a bailist to say the parish of Bikurim. Reish Lakish Amar, maybe we know Gari Kinyin HaBeir, Slav Ki Gimon HaDov Tami. So Gemara says, we have a precedent for our Machlaikas, and of course, any time we have a precedent, the problem is, why would we have to say the same case twice? The Gemara explains, Yusricha, we need both cases. The Iyat, Tamar, Be'ahi, if we would have only said the case when someone sells the field for the produce, that's when Reish Lakish says his din. Why? Because when the buyer took it, when the buyer bought it, well, it was for what reason? He knew that's what he was doing. But in the case where he's buying land, but it happens to be at his man of in reality. Why is he buying it? He's really buying it for the gulf. He's buying it for the field itself. 
Hema Moidil Rav Yechon, maybe he's Moidil Rav Yechon, that it is considered a Kenyan. Viet Mar Baha continues the Gemara, and if you would have said the case of the Yoyva, welcome Rav Yechonon. That's what Rav Yechonon says. They cannot be here, says Kikin and Akov, because he's buying the land. Avul Bahach, one of the first case, Hema Moidil Rav Yechonon, therefore we need both cases. Tata Shema continues the Gemara, Koyelin Ilan Vikar Koi. Maybe Vikairi. We were 12 lines down. The first word in line is Elon. Says the Brisa of someone purchases an Elon and its land. The halacha is maybe he brings the Bikurim Vikairi. And um, he recites the parsha of Yoivel. So what do we see? We see the reason is because he considered that he acquired the ownership. And that is the reason. Excuse me. Maybe Vikairi. So what do we see from over here? This is a Raya. To Rav Yechon, that we see that even though he only bought the Peirais, he's able to say the parasha is Kurim. Says the Gemara, no Raya Achama Eskinam Zan Sheina Yevel Noyeg, and therefore the purchase is a purchase of land. Tashema continues the Gemara to prove to Rav Yechon. Ha Koinesh Nei Eloi Nei Zbitoch Sadeu Shachaveir. If someone buys two trees in the field of his friend, what is Allah Maybe Ve'Enoi Kairi. Why? Because he has no ownership of the land. Ha shlaish, if he buys three trees, maybe vikayre. So the Gemara proves again that kinyan abeiris kinyan agov, like the sheet of Rav Yechlan, answers the Gemara the same tarets no raya. Ha chenami b'zan shein a yovel noik. And now the Gemara says vash adam Rav Chista. And now the Rav Chista has taught us machlekes be yovel sheini the machlekes in Rav Yechlan is like it's in the second yovel. Everyone would agree that in the first Yovel, you could read the parsha of Bikurim. Why? The reason being because the sellers were not saying that the buyers are going to return the field. Therefore, when they sold it, they sold it in its entirety. If that is true, look, I'll be able to reach and I'll be able to show you another way to differentiate the two Mishnahis. So it continues the Gemara to try to figure out how far the Machlekes of Yechon Rish Lakesh goes, Lema Kitanoi. Let's say that it is a Machlekes Tanoi. Minayun Lelokeh Sadame Aviv Ikdisha Vachach Meis Aviv. So he purchases a field from his father, and then he gives it to the base of Migdash, he is Maktashit, and then the father dies. How do we know that it reverts back? It's as if it's his own field, a Steachuza, an ancestral field, a field that's always going to belong in his family. So how do you know that is the way that we consider it? And... Tamalaimar, where do we know that from? In a stay Miknasai says the Taira Shalai Mistay Achuzasai. Says the Basik, if he's gonna be Maktish a field that he owns, but not a field that belongs to the Stay Achuza. Sada Shaino Ruya Leois Stay Achuza. From here we darshan this referring to a field that is not fit to be a Stay Achuza. That is when it's considered a king in the field, the Atzazu, Sharuya Leois Stay Achuza. How do we know if the father dies? Apologies that our page of Ahmed just ran away. How do we know? And afterwards, he was marked. So that are the two cases in the Braisa. So now says the Gemara of Eil, Rav Yehuda, Rav Shimin. Now according to Rav Yehuda, Rav Shimin, if the father died, and then he was Makdash, what's the halacha? In that scenario, we not need a Pasuk to teach us that the field has a din of a steyachuza. So my love, so what's the machlekes over here? There are mayors, Sava, you know why? Kidding out pay rice. Okay, good in out of the army. The ownership of the pay is like the field of Baha. Therefore, in this case, that the son purchased the father's field while there was Yoivel. Therefore, he acquired the ownership. That's the reason why. He says, Aviv hu veloi to lo yaris lo And therefore, when the father died, he didn't really inherit anything. And that's the reason why 
Whereas if you do Rav Shimon, Sarvi, they disagree. And they all the opposite, like Rish Lagish, Kinyan Beirais, Lav, Kinyan Gov, Dami, it's not the same thing. Ubaha, Misas Aviv, Hashto, the Kayaris. Only when the father dies, that's what they inherit. So, when do we need a Pasik like Tisha, Vachach, Meis, Aviv, Hod, Itzra, that's why we need a Pasik. So, the Gemara suggests that maybe the crux of this Machlaikas, really the Machlaikas, Rish Lakish, and Rav Yechon, by the Kinyan Abeiris, Kinyan Gof, has a prior precedent in the Machlaikas, Tanayim, which of course is a quiet problem, because why would Amarayim, Rish Lakish, Rav Yechon, argue about something that was already debated by the Tanayim? So Amar Rav Nachor Yitzchok, Rav Nachor Yitzchok responds, "Lein lo meim lecha." But Amar Kesavir Rav Yudin Rav Shimon give me a pair of skin. I go up to I'll tell you, really, Rav Yudin Rav Shimon hold that generally, can I pay her? He says, "Skin can I go up?" Vahach. So what's different about this case? Rav Yudin Rav Shimon crash kechuve darosh. They found the pasuk. They have a special drush on this case. Normally they're masking like Rav Yechel and the Kinyan Beiru says Kinyan Gof, or Rav Yechel is masking to them. But over here it's a sidebar machlekes due to a pasuk that says Lichle Rachmana Im Es Stay Miknasai Asher Loy Achuzasai My Miss Stay Achuzasai. What does it mean from the field to stay Achuzah? Sadish in a royal Leo stay Achuzah, which is Yatza Zushi Leo stay Achuzah. So suggest the Gemara. It's not actually the same Achlekes because we could say that everyone agrees. Like that, it is a real kidney. So says the Gemara Omar Rav Yosef comments Rav Yosef on that which we just said that whether the kidney of Paris is kidney of dummy says Rav Yosef he loved them Rav Yechlan. If not for the fact that Rav Yechlan said kidney of Paris kidney of dummy loy matzi yada v'ragu beis hamedrash he would not be able to put himself into beis hamedrash he would not have been able to answer up the questions. What's the kasha? Don't remember. Ask him. Rabbi Yechon and Achish Achol Kula Kucha is him. When brothers divide an estate, they're considered like purchasers. It's as if they purchase the land one from another. Machzir and Zel is Zebi Yovel, and it goes back to the estate, the father's estate, which is each other. By Yovel, Visa, because I did lack a kidney. I go up to him. You're never going to tell me that someone holds that kidney. Now, Beiris is not like being kind of the land. Lo Mashchus and I see Bikurim. They can't bring Bikurim. El Achad Bar Achad. Rather, only El Achad Bar Achad. Yeshua ben Non. Until you have a son after a son, all the way up to Yeshua ben Non. That's the only time. That we're going to have a case where it's not going to be divided amongst the Yarshim. But of course, once we found that Avada, everyone does hold of such a concept. Therefore, that is the Gemara's Raya. Continues the Gemara. On my Rava, let's bring a Raya to Rish Lakish. Krom, Asnita, Mesaiya, Alei. We have a Pasik and the Mishnah proves Rish Lakish of Kinyan Peris, Lav, Kinyan Gov, Dami. Mesaiya, Alei, Rish Lakish. Kra, what's the Pasik? As we turn over to Mimchasa Midbeis, says the Gemara, Rabbi Mishra Shnei Tevuois, Yimkar Lich Lach, according to the number of the crops, it should be sold to you. And continues the Gemara, Masnita, and the Mishnah as well is he right to Reish Lakish. Why is the Mishnah right to Reish Lakish? Says the Gemara, because Titania, we learned in Abraisa, the Bachar still takes Vishnayim of the field that the father had sold and then he was Nifter and reverted back in the time of Yoivel. Amr Abaye says, Abaye Naktinu Yavlachlam Hashem Sinai, Pal Benechse Ishta Yisar Charsha. The husband in relationship to the wife's field needs Harsha, he needs his wife to authorize, allow him to take over. Vlayam Rinan. This is only in a case where the husband doesn't have a, a way to the produce. That's when we say that which we said, that it's, he needs our shah. But if the husband has an ownership in the produce, then there would be no necessity for the shah. We should do an incredible chazara of this long, lengthy fourth parak of Gein dealing with the intricate laws of the Avadim. And with that, we dive straight into the fifth parak, the parak of Hani Zakin. Hani Zakin, Shamal and says the Gemara, damages. Nizakin. How do you evaluate damages? I'm sorry, let's turn off that confetti. Says the Gemara, how do you, there it is, how do you evaluate damages? Shamin Lahem Bedias. Damages, you evaluate according to the best land. 
The truth is, this is going to be our Akdama of sorts, too. But we're going to deal with these concepts over there. Rameyar Aimer Av Ksubas Isha Bainanis gets middle grade, basically it's three grades land, Bainan Zibura sing idias. Trying to figure out in which scenario the person has to pay which. So says the Mishnah, the Baal Chai pays middle grade. Ksubas Isha can pay the worst. Our mayor says Ksubas Isha now has to pay from the middle. Continues the Mishnah, in the Fras bin Chasim, Mishu Badim, Be Makai, Shish the Chasim bin Chayim. If someone has actual the Chasim bin Chayim, they have a piece of land, then you're not going to go and pay back. From the encumbered properties in Chasim at Mishubadim, as long as you own land. Vafilo in Ziburius, even if the land you have is Ziburius and your Chasim Mishubadim is better land, still you do not pay back, rather you pay from your own. Continues the Mishnah in the from and Chasim Yisayim Elmina Ziburius. We do not pay Yisayim only from Ziburius. In my Tzian Achilas pay rice. We don't pay from the fields which are mishobed in other people's hands. Again, they take an ilam. No one's going to want to lend money if they keep on losing their item. They take an ilam. Someone finds a mitziah as well. He does not have to make a shvua. Why? For the ticket ilam. And we just begin. What are these ticket ilams that we're talking about? Says the Gemara, when they take an ilam, you're telling me that the reason why, when it comes to damages, the reason you pay from Indias is taking an ilam, ask the Gemara, what do you mean? They have to pay the meat, you have to pay from the best. They 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 have to pay the best. They have to pay from the best. We evaluate according to the one that did the damages, not the one that had the damages done. Says the Gemara, my Rabbi Yishmael, the Tanya, Meitav Sadeh, Meitav Karma Yishalim. Says the Apostle, you have to pay from the best. Meitav Sadeh, Yishal, Nizik, Meitav Karma Yishal, Nizik, of the one that got damaged, every Rabbi Yishmael. Rabbi Kiva, Imer, Loi, Baha, Kosov, Ela, Le Gabo, Is, Le Nizke, Le Nizakim, Le Idiyas. What is he old? You pay according to the grade that you did damage. And with that, we're going to pull up and we're going to pick it up from Re'idi Baravim, Siyat the Shemayo, in the next year.